What's up guys? We're back at the shop again, of course. And uh, today's the day. We're finally gonna get Blukey's wiring all addressed. Uh, about a weekend or two ago, I went to the junkyard with all the Dotsons and I took a wiring harness out of a 521. Here it is, it's all completely laid out. And hopefully, today, we'll be able to take the old 520 harness out and um, install the harness out of the 521 in the 520, see if we can make it work. So, kind of thinking that a 521 harness will do just fine in this truck for one, uh, the 520 and 521 share the same dash, so everything should hopefully just plug in. And then on the engine side, we'll just start hooking it all up to the L-Series, because 521s come with L-Series, and that's what I swapped into the truck, so hopefully everything goes as planned. This harness is unchopped, completely untouched. I'm praying there's nothing wrong with it, but the thing that I like about it is it doesn't look like anyone has ever messed with it in the past. It looks completely untouched. So first thing we're gonna do is start taking out the old harness. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the furthest point away from the harness, which in my case is over here. So I can start unhooking all this stuff. By the way, this is where I think I had stuff hooked up wrong. Maybe, either that or we were just grounding out. We put a voltmeter on it and uh, it was saying that it was grounding out on the these wires, the ones that actually melted and burned up. It said it was grounding out somewhere, so I'm not sure. But it's gonna start taking this old harness out. So the wiring harness is off the front area by the radiator and away from my coil. So now I can go to the back of the alternator and unhook what's on the back from there. We got a two prong plug. We have a Phillips right here. And then we have an eight millimeter on the back. That's all we got. We got the signal wire to the starter. And then we have this power wire that I had on the starter as well. So I'll have to take off the nut on the starter solenoid to get this one off. Okay, I'm going to leave this a little loose. Just in case there's something else that I have to put on there. Can't remember if I do or not on the other harness. Now I can go, eh, go ahead and start taking off these relays. which are just screwed in to the side of the inner fender. There's one. This one is not hooked to anything. And then this last one, back here, that chrome one, I should be able to leave. All right, most of the harness is out of the bay. Now I can go under the dash where the engine harness meets the dash harness. So just under here, I had already unplugged one because I was looking at the burned area. A couple more under here. I think there's a few more plugs on the 521 harness, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, and this last wire, which I don't know what it does, I think I can pull it right through into the engine bay. And then that leaves the dash harness to come out and that should be it oh yeah and i gotta unhook the wiper motor as well okay i forgot this one ground right here from there to the harness forgot that just one screw engine harness is completely out. All right, as you guys just saw, I got the 520 engine harness out of the bay. Got it laid out on the ground here. This is the engine harness, the old one. And then here's the new 521 engine harness. Minus that, that's for the dash. But um, 
yeah, the harnesses are very similar. Obviously, there's different stuff considering it's from a different truck and motor. But uh, if you were to look at them side by side, there are a lot of similarities. Uh, the 521 has a little bit longer of a harness since uh, the fenders are slightly longer. And then from headlight to headlight, it's a little bit longer of a distance as well. Still should be able to make it work. Now I can finally start pulling the dash harness out, which I'm kind of dreading, but we gotta do what we gotta do. Hopefully I don't dirty up my new interior too bad, but um, I think I'm gonna pull out the uh, glove compartment here. It's a little bit messed up anyway. When I was at the junkyard, I snagged a um, new one. This one's in really good shape. It just needs cleaned up. Gonna put that in and it should be give me better access to um, the plugs and all that shit under the dash. Busted versus non-busted. And uh, getting this harness out is just as simple as bending these tabs that are holding it up in place. Kind of wedged towards the top. Can't forget the heater. I don't know why, but every Datsun 520 and 521 I've seen, I swear, the blinker switch plug, and for like for the horn and stuff, coming down from the steering column, always gets corroded. I have no idea why. In this harness, was this was the only plug from the whole engine harness and dash harness that was corroded. And same thing on Suki, before I started messing with that harness. And then this new harness that I got, right down by the steering column, plug, wherever it is. Yes, right here, corroded. Like the plastic just falling apart. Technically, I don't think I would have to take this out, but it's very simple and I might do it just in, just anyway so that I have more of a visual to see what I'm doing. Very carefully, now I can. So I, did, I unhooked this from the back and couldn't forget the speedometer cable as well. This is for the dash uh, gauge cluster. Just a simple big plug. Only goes in one way from that little tooth. And then I gotta unhook these plugs back here for the headlights, headlight switch, uh, wiper switch. And lucky for me, uh, while I was at the junkyard, I found uh, an original Nissan ignition switch. So I don't have to have this garbage one. patience and wiggling we got the dash harness out as you can see it loops around from driver's side headlight to passenger side around to the ignition and same for this one just slightly longer all the way around to the ignition have the ignition switch but left it at home Plugs in right here. I'm just gonna have to go get it. Okay, so the new harness is ready to go in. I'm gonna start with the dash harness because that's what I left off with. Yeah, I'm just basically gonna put the new harness in same way I took the old one out. It's completely ready to go. I just did a little wipe down on it. This will be the plug to the engine harness side and I'm gonna fish that through the dash that way. Okay, I got, for the most part, the harness in place. This wire here is for my dome light, which was always chopped, never had anything. So this is from the new harness. It's the same wire. I just need to get a bolt connector on there, which I got right here. So I'm just gonna strip the wire, the sheathing from this wire, put this bullet connector on it, and should be good to plug that in. Bullet connector's in. Now I should be able to just tuck this up, just like that. Apparently, the 521 headlight plug is different. So I do have the new headlight switch as well, but it's in my tool bag at my dad's. So I'll go get that. 
later, but I got this plugged in, that plugged in. Now I can start tucking the harness back up to its spot up in these, just like this. We can tuck them up. I also finally got one of these hood cable pulls so I don't have to use uh, vice grips anymore, which is super nice. Okay, so the dash harness is completely in. Everything's plugged in. I'm gonna leave the glove compartment door and the box out of it for now, just in case. You never know. I don't wanna have to take it out again. These will all fish right through the hole uh, in the firewall, right into the interior. They'll all plug into the dash harness. The fuse box sits in the same spot. This is an old ground wire here for the battery. This um, actually, this might be a power wire. I'm not sure though. All right, we're gonna start bringing this thing in. Okay, so I just ran home and grabbed that ignition switch that I was telling you guys about. Um, I polished it up the other day, just like the chrome on it. So the outside chrome and then that. And then I also polished the key because everything was really, really bad looking, kind of corroded looking and all that. So it just goes in through the back and then this little uh, spacer kind of supports it just like that and then that small the thinner washer goes next and then you screw on the chrome ring on the outside just like that original Nissan key okay so um like I was saying earlier I thought that this was actually the positive cable. I don't know if that's factory. I wouldn't see why it'd be black though, or unless somebody changed it in the past. <clears throat> but I did confirm that this was positive. I went and I looked on the green truck out there, which that is super nice that I have for reference for the wiring and hooking up and everything. So I went and I confirmed this uh, wire right here goes right to the fuse block. I went to O'Reilly's already and I got this new positive cable so that'll connect to the starter solenoid the battery and then this wire right here which I already connected this is the extra wire I had for my fans it's the same gauge so I just connected that this will go to the fuse box as well kind of already routed everything for the most part um, this harness part back here will actually route around this side and these wires will be hooking up to the coil so that'll be nice I won't have to worry about making my own custom wiring harness for that like I did last time just as I was expecting earlier for this big relay plugs right in to this harness as well didn't need to take it out super nice and then it's got the same ground as before all right so I think I got everything hooked up the whole wiring harness so I got the battery kind of sitting in there yet I haven't tried anything yet because I'm a little nervous I'm gonna have my friend come down and kind of test some stuff with his um, meter. I think I got everything for the most part hooked up correctly. It's kind of a mess over here right now. Mostly because I don't have a spot to like hang all this wiring. Uh, the 520s don't have a wiring harness along this side. So I'm gonna have to kind of tuck some stuff up later. All right guys, um, I think we're ready. All the wiring's all hooked up. I did end up stealing uh, the um, headlight switch from that green truck because I think we're about to go take it, take it for a small, slow test drive. And it's dark out as you can see, so I'm gonna need headlights. Uh, currently my regular headlights don't work, only my brights do, and I think that's because the brights are stuck on because I don't have my blinker switch in yet. So I just think they're pushed forward or whatever, stuck on. So I'll get that in soon. Got my homemade gas tank here until, uh, until we get a real tank. Wanted to mount it on the outside because I'm too nervous about having it next to a hot radiator down there. So we're gonna have it right there. But I think, I think we're ready. Mark 
tester off, but that's okay. I also took, as you guys can see, I took the hood off. Um, the reason I took the hood off is I kind of wanted to make sure I'm monitoring it just so everything's okay and in case of an emergency so yeah all right so I've been checking the wires and stuff it's been running everything seems good I've been just feeling around with my hands, listening and smelling for certain smells. And um, so far, so good. Temp gauge is working, it's a little bit over. Um, it's a little bit over uh, the middle, but I do have have to hook up that orange wire for my fans again. I, uh, this being a new harness and stuff, I'm gonna have to find a new spot, which since I don't have a radio in this thing, I think I might use the, the radio wire. It's a little blue wire that's not connected to anything and it has power, well, at least it should. So I think I'm gonna see if I can hook it up to that. We got the safety first back here. Because you never know. I'm not even gonna clear the stuff out the back. I'm just gonna go for it, I think. I do know my my clutch is a little weird. I think it needs more bleeding, and so do my brakes. They're a little spongy, but they still work. Oh my gosh. This is the first time this truck has ever moved under its own power since owning this thing. And it's super dusty because we're just straight out of the headers right now. So as I pulled out the shop, you could just see like a ton of dust coming out from the exhaust. But yeah, we got zero miles guys. Let's see if we can get this thing moving. Very cool at the same time. 
All right, I'm gonna see if I can hook that up really quick and check everything. Yeah, where we were like literally almost empty. I had like this much left in in my massive fuel tank. That was very weird driving this thing. It I don't know why, but it feels so much like less roomy than Suki. I think it's probably because of the steering wheel and then maybe different like seat foam. I'd say that was a success. Next video for sure, I'd say we're probably going to be working on this thing again doing some other stuff to it. I have exhaust to do. I'm gonna be making my own custom exhaust and it's not gonna be loud, that's for sure. I got this, I got this big old muffler here. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching as always and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.